Hello and welcome everyone, I'm the Blue Dwarf and welcome to episode 10 of Terra Firma Rescue. Now, to start off in today's episode, we're going to take a quick look at dirt. And this is real, real dirt. Um, this is dirt that has been transformed from the actual uh, Terra Firma craft dirt to real, uh, to Minecraft dirt, essentially. And it wants us to make a 128 dirt. So we are going to make a 128 dirt and see where this goes. See what dirt can be used for. So that is that quest. And I'm going to grab the bronze shovel as our reward. So that leads on to crop frames and on to strange saplings. So after making a carpenter machine, you can convert the TFC oak saplings into vanilla oak seedling into the, into the and uh, the bark can be obtained by right clicking a log with a Greg Tech axe or by machine. So we can get an oak sapling. Wait, what did that mean? You can get so a carpenter machine. Okay, so we actually need the carpenter's machine before we can turn a terra firma craft oak sapling into a Minecraft oak sapling, and we'll also need mulch to do that, which we can get from bark from scraping trees and using our water bucket. So that's going to be a while off because I don't even think we've seen way of getting a carpenter unfortunately however we can look at possibly the other tab that this was leading on to and that is crop frames so the crop rack increases the growth rate of the original crops not only that but placing two overlapping racks between two crops has the potential to crossbreed the two crops to produce a new crop new crops will inherit the attributes of their ancestors and may change even it will become a new crop note if no crops are planted on the racks it will soon be covered with weeds which are contagious and can easily destroy your field solve this problem you can only make one weeder now so these are made using treated sticks and either a knife or a saw now, right, how many of those did it want us to make? It wanted us to make 32 of those. So we need a whole stack of treated sticks. So and that will need, how much? That's gonna need a lot of, uh, a lot of creosote oil, which we do not have that much of right now. And we also need to get our hands on some of the original crops. And I believe the way that you meant to do that is through the sifting table. And if we just wait until it shifts, goes to that, so we can get that. And that is this raw iron table, essentially. Um, I don't think we can get it in a wooden table of any kind, no. So we basically need to have steel or raw iron um, but and a lot of it and that is currently what we are very low on we are very low on raw iron right now because we are very low on charcoal and we also need to go and mine some more iron ore but it is mainly the fact that we are running low on charcoal and don't even have a way of processing it so I was wondering if that uh, strange sapling was going to be able to help us with that and get our hands on some more wood but seemingly not so now that it is getting on to early spring and we are coming out of winter it means that crops will start spawning again in the world when we are out exploring so that's exactly what we're going to go we're going to do we're going to go out for a little exploration there's a few crops that i want to find and a few trees tree types that i want to find so we're going to go exploring north towards the equator and see if we can find some of the crops that you can more you're more likely to get close to the equator and then we might even head uh, all, uh up south and try and get towards some of the colder regions 
um, where you get more of the other crops. Because we only have about, I think, maybe half to, two, half to three quarters of the crops that are available in the game. So we want to get all the other different crop types and berry bush types, um, and that will allow us to have better food. So in preparation for that, we are going to make a loom. Now with this loom, we can place it down, place it down over here, and we can take eight of the, the that we've made in previous episodes, and we can right click eight pieces onto there, and then we can shift right click, and we can weave it together, and it weaves it together like that, as you can see, looks like wool, and we get a backpack. So we can open that and we ha have a whole extra set of storage slots. And not only that, we can fill a barrel with ceramic vessels. So each of these slots is four slots inside of the vessel. Seal that, pick it up with our axe and that, put that on the back. And then we have absolutely loads of storage. We can also put our food in there. I don't know if that has any effect on its decay, whether it would where, whether that will affect it. I guess I'll put the sandwiches in there and see what it does. And that's basically all we need. We're armored up. We have our, we have some tools. We have our water sack with full of water, and we can put these resources away. And we are then going to just head out, head straight out, and go exploring for a bit. So our adventure wasn't that fruitful, so we decided to come back. So we are going to do some metal working instead. We have, were able to mine up a bunch of galena and a bunch of iron, magnetite. We also mined up a bunch of coal. Now that we have a bunch of coal, we can use that in our forge instead of our charcoal. So we can use our charcoal just for turning into iron in our bloomery. Still making more charcoal in there as well. And we can take this charcoal and take the magnetite. We need 24 pieces of magnetite to 24 pieces of charcoal. And we need to get a lighter to be able to light it all up. Then we've got one there. And we can place eight charcoal in the bottom of our bloomery. Close that up. And we can then go up here, drop in our magnetite. And then drop in our ore. 24 pieces should be. There we go. And drop that in. And it's doing something weird. We pick it all up. Uh, so, okay, so it left eight out, so we need eight more charcoal in there. And try the magnetite again. And there we go, it's all full to the top. So we can now just go and light it up. Ah, uh, so our charcoal aren't mixing, so we've got a Minecraft charcoal still. Ah, there we go. So we've got a stack and bits of charcoal left, but that's all lit up now. And whilst we are waiting for that, I will process up this lead. So our Iron Bloom has finished, and we can dig it out with our pickaxe, and we're going to put another one in there with eight pieces of charcoal, close that up, and put in another set. But before we do that, the thing is we need a lot of iron, and we'll need it for things like the steam boiler, which is going to need iron. All of these things are going to need iron, so we're going to need to be making a lot of it. We're also going to be needing to make iron sheets before we are able to go on and make the blast furnace for making the seal. And that's going to be 32 uh, ingots of iron from those all those different plates but we we'll chuck in all of this now and we'll be able to get a bunch i think we put in 16 already so put in eight more i think that's correct and then eight more pieces of charcoal and it should yep there it does does its thing and we can light that up so we can now take that bloom and I think we can can we put it we can fill our forge with coal now as we don't have to and then we don't have to waste any of our charcoal. 
think we might be able to put our iron bloom in. I think the the forge, not the forge, the crucible retains some of its heat there. So we're going to have to put it in our forge and heat it up as we can't melt it down in the crucible. Whilst, and we'll just wait for that to heat up. And then once we've got it split down, we can put it into the crucible. So now that that's hot enough, we can take it out of the forge and we can work it on the anvil. We want to refine it down first. We're going to upset it a bunch of times and get it close to that. Then we need to... Oh, it went too far. We need to bend it and punch it a couple of times, see if that's enough. No, nope, still off a little bit. And yes, no. There we go. So we've now got a refined iron boom. Let's see if we can put it in there. Oh no, it's not letting us put it in the crucible, so we're gonna have to actually have it be refined down into the smaller smaller units the split up. So heat it up back again and then we can split it. So for this one I think we need to punch it out, but we need to go the other way first. And like hammer and punch, and there we go, we've got all of our Things, and we can stick those in there and it looks like it will let us melt those down just need to use the bellows to help heat up the crucible so it gets hot enough to actually melt those down yeah and there it goes it melts them down so and then we'll be able to cast those out as ingots talking of ingots we have those all the lead we have 16 lead ingots that we've been able to craft up and we can place those down next to our other ingots of copper, bronze, and black bronze, and now we have our stack of lead here as well. We need to expand that and have some uh, more um, more table space for more ingots in a second. So we can keep our forge full of coal, keep it nice and hot, and we can put our charcoal away for a second. Our bloomery is still going there, and we can chuck these all in, and we can see about putting something casting out. So it's not casting out, so each time a iron bloom or refined bloom melts down or anything melts down it reduces the temperature. Anyway, we are going to be making those there as the double ingots because we want to make the grill and that takes two double ingots to make the grill and we want to make a double ingot into a sheet and that make that into a Dixie. So it's still not casting out, I think we need to make it hotter, hot enough so that it will actually cast out as white metal. Well that's the last bloom uh, melted down, got six, 600 units in there, and our forge full of coal. We have that old uh, piece of raw iron that was from uh, when we had a, we're doing rich stuff that gave us an uneven amount of iron. It's casting out now, and get these starting casting out. Could do these two at a time just so that we make sure that we get them into the double ingots, but I think we'll just do them all at once because we need, we'll need two double ingots anyway, heated up to make grill, and well, they don't cool down that fast. We'll have enough time. So just casting all these out, and we are starving. Go and grab some food from my backpack. There we go. And we're good. Got some extra sandwiches in there. So we can put these like this in our inventory. All brilliant white. So one of them has turned to a solid already. Yeah, just get the rest of these out of here whilst we're here. Thought I'd just show a bit more of the uh, metal working process since we have time for it in today's episode. There we go. We've got all of our iron out. And we can pop that one out into an ingot already and see which one is next to cool down enough to turn into an ingot. Ah, there we go. And we can stick those in here and weld them together. And that's still nice and hot. And wait until the next one's gone down to solids. Seeing which one's the next one that's which one's the next one that's going to be cool enough. And where are you? There you are. And we can weld those two together as well. another one that's gone solid. That one's still liquid. We're going to put these two in here and we can make that into the grill. So we're going to get it near the starting point but we need to 
destroy it. Ooh, don't want to go too far off. Don't want to go off the scales like that. Or close to off the scales. Bend it. Okay, so lot, lots of times to the left and then a little bit back towards the right. So just mess around with this until we actually get it right. Got it lined up now. What if we shrink? Draw, draw, bend. Okay, so if we need to be a bit round there. Or draw. Oh, wait, wait. oh, there we go. That worked. And we have our grill now, and we can weld those two last ingots together before they cool down too much. Make that into a sheet, shrinking it a bunch of times, and hitting it with a hammer a bunch of times. And then our Dixie. Just bending it a bunch of times. We can draw it like that. And bend. Draw, draw, bend. Obviously these are can be randomized. I don't know exactly which ones are randomized and which ones aren't. I believe the tool ones are randomized, but the ones for like making it making ingots into a sheet aren't randomized. Anyway, we can take our coal out of there now, as we have got the two things that we want. We can look at actually using these. So we're gonna take some of our coal and we're gonna grab some bricks from inside or some smooth conglomerates will do. And yeah, good. So we're going to go over to where our food house is because we are going to set up a little fire next to here with our grill on it. So grill goes over a forge, which is why we have to have all of these little fire pits set up. So we can fill that all in like that and fill it up with coal. Oh, we can't place coal down. I think we have to actually make the forge out of charcoal, even though we can power it with coal. So grab a of charcoal from in here. Fill it all up. There we go. And not really placing down, not really letting us place down the thing properly. Anyway, we were going to want to have this covered up so that it doesn't get affected by the rain because rain cools forges down. We don't want that. By placing that. That's probably not where I think it's meant to go. So we need to, we can try lighting this up. I th think it might only be seven pieces of charcoal that you need. Let's go grab a shovel. Shovel, shovel, shovel. There we go. Actually, no, I think it is eight pieces. Eight full pieces. Let's try lighting it first. Oh, there we go. It, it was full. Eight, eight full pieces. And pick up the grill and place it back down where I think it's meant to go, which is right up. Right, so yes, yeah, so you can shift right click it to open it like a trapdoor. And it's got six slots inside that we can use to cook on. And we can obviously then power it just like with the forge with fuel underneath. Now, this will allow us to cook some foods that we can't cook otherwise, like eggs. Or maybe just egg. Yeah, there we go. So we could get cooked to eggs. And this is something that we want to try and do in the next few episodes is get some animals in here and do some animal husbandry. And that's sort of what I wanted to go find um, when I went wanted to go exploring earlier is I wanted to find jute to make jute rope. And you can then use that rope to lead animals around. And then we would have been able to get some animal pens going. But... Uh, now we are going to take a look at our Dixie. Now we can, by the looks of the rest of the uh, quest, we go look at that a second. We need Dixie. You can pause and look, read through all that um, if you want to. Um, I will give you a few seconds to pause the video. But we want to make a Dixie with water and bones. So we will need to grab a bucket and grab some of our bones from our chest. So there's our bucket, and got a bunch of bones from in there, and we can grab some water from these barrels. These barrels automatically fill up with water whenever it rains, and we can craft that up in our inventory. So water, Dixie, and bones gets us a Dixie with water and bones in it. Now, what we can do with that. 
is be able to make a more advanced version with um, glue and stuff in it, but we can stick that in there because we need to heat it up. And uh, probably won't take much uh, coal as it only needs to get up to the very hot three stars, I believe. Grab a few more bones because we'll probably be wanting to make a lot of this and we'll grab some more water from up here. As I believe it makes a more advanced water barrel structure. Oh, that's very loud lightning. And yeah, it only needs to get very hot to make this and make some water tank. And also allows us to make slime balls and sticky pistons. But I think it's the main thing is the water tank siding, which is the multi box structure. But that also takes iron. Uh, we can take a few things of those things off because we've gotten all of those. So we can some torch as well, which we make with coal. I was wondering if that might be a permanent light source. So we will see about that at some point. So our bloom is done. We can take that out of there. And put another set of charcoal in the bottom of that. And look at our Dixie. Still only gotten to hot, so it might take a while to heat up. Let's take some of our magnetite and uh, 24 pieces and chuck that into our bloomery again. We're going to be making, doing a lot of this and making lots and lots of iron. That's all nice and full up now. Take our lighter and light that up. So we can wait until our Dixie has heated up enough and will turn into blue. So you're wondering if the Dixie could be used for anything else? No, it's the only thing it can be used for really. Um, but yeah, we'll be using it to make lots of glue. So our Dixie has now turned to glue, so we can take that out of there. And we've got an iron bloom that is dangerously hot, so we can take that out of there and quickly refine that up. And I don't think I'm going to be showing much more of this process in future episodes as I have demonstrated it a lot in today's episode. But we've got that refined and we can split that up. And basically anything to do with splitting up uh, your iron I think I'll just do off camera from now on. As you've all seen how to do it. And we can just chuck these in here and heat it up. And we'll get our iron out. Could even... Uh, do the old final way and refine it into ingots this way, but let's try and do that now. Oh, and that's our hammer out, but I guess we'll just stick, uh, stick these in here at this point. So with our Dixie, we can take that and turn it into glue, and we can then submit the quest, and we should get that. Oh, it didn't register when we had it full of water and bones. So we can just do that again, protect it, and then we should be able to claim our wooden barrel. It's interesting. And then it wants us to go on to make a water tank, which is the multi block structure requiring glue, but iron screws and iron plates. And that's a lot of iron that I don't really have right now to be making this, but it is something we'll go on to make in the future. And we can just carry on sticking our iron in there. So we'll be needing iron for that, and we'll also be needing iron for other things. Now, these other tasks that are needed, I think what we want to be focusing on is the blast furnace for making steel. These other things do require iron, but I think they're not really as important and will lead on to other quest lines that will become later on once we have steel. So we'll be making all of that stuff in the next episode, I think. I think we'll be able to get that done in the next episode, hopefully. But I will be processing up this iron quickly. So that is all we will have time for today. We were able to make up eight iron sheets and half a stack of glue with the resources that we had. We are once again out of charcoal. But yes, as I said, that is all we have time for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're enjoying it. Drop a like to show your support. And I shall see you in the next one. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.